Glam Dolls, hey, I'm back again, and I have a wig review that I want to do for you today. As you can see, I am still rocking my Nisha. I just did a wig review on her last week. This is the Nisha 203. <sighs> I am still in love with her. I, I just feel like I'm going to be in love with her for a long time. Okay, so if you want to see the review I did on her, and it was really quick because I just was speechless. So, <laughs> I'll leave the link in the description box so you can click on that next. Um, the wig that I'm reviewing for you today, though, is from Bella Bella. It's a short style. It's a synthetic wig. And um, I just wanted to try it and see it is a color that I don't wear. I think I, I, I don't think I've ever had a wig that was fully um, this color. I'm going to show you it in just a second. Um, it's probably, I probably had ones that were ombre like with this color in it, but not the fully, you know, of this solid, you know, this color <laughs> as the solid color. So, um, it's from Bella Bella. It, um, let me show you the card I've taken it out of the package already so it came in this packaging and here is the um, of course it was in here the color that I'm going to show you is RMBUR it is the Vela Vela um, wig and it is called Alexis okay so here is the stock card right here. Alexis R M B U R. It looks like this. It says that uh, this wig is premium, premium high temperature fiber, um, curling iron safe up to 370 five degrees Fahrenheit it comes in a whole lot of colors if you can see right there this is the list of all the different colors it comes in as you can see the stock card lady is rocking a black and purple I think it's like purple on this side yeah and black so yeah she comes in all kinds of different um, colors it's pretty cool all right I'm nervous about this one let me just show you the cap construction and then I'm gonna put it on and we're gonna see what happens okay let me um, adjust my uh, screen for you a bit okay so Alexis looks like this is the one that I have pure D red well she does have some dark right here in the back just in the back a little bit so yeah but it's a bright burgundy and then it goes into this it's a mixture of 1b and burgundy back here and uh, yes yeah, so this is what she looks like this is she looks a little bit shiny but she is kind of a yakky texture too she looks shiny on camera it's weird <laughs> um, this is the cap construction of course it is a wig it is not a lace front it is a full wig so we have a comb in the front and no combs on the sides this is just the ear tabs and then you have a comb in the back and you do have adjustable straps okay so this is she and uh, we're gonna see what this looks like on me oh my gosh all right i'm gonna put this on i'll be right back Okay, Glam Dolls, so as I, you saw me messing with it, um, I fast forwarded through it because it was just taking me forever. 
to figure out what I how how I wanted it to look on me. So this is what I came up with for right now. I feel like I'm gonna keep messing with it and trying to find a different way for it to look right on me. I don't know if I necessarily like this on me. Now I saw another YouTuber review it. Like, you can't just assume, and you guys know this, you can't assume just because a wig looks good on somebody else that it's going to look good on you. Because everybody has different face shapes and head sizes. First of all, my head is large and this wig is tight. It is, um, yeah, it's, it's snug. It's not even, like, the ear tabs aren't coming all the way down. Um, because it's just it's for not it's not for it's not big head friendly to me it's not big head friendly so just keep that in mind it is super cute i'm trying not to look like somebody's child <sighs> anyway let me just turn around so you can see the back and get a good view of it you guys just you know it, it it did shed i will say that as i was messing with it i got a lot of shedding um with it so let me just turn around so you can see here's this side It's a beautiful color here's this side it is really a beautiful color it really is gorgeous and I love the color I just don't like the style on me because it just I feel like it ages me and um, yeah I'm trying to do that prematurely child so <clears throat> if I keep um, messing with this and um, figure out a way to where I like it and it's not looking making me look like <clears throat> somebody's grandmother I will post some pics and um because <laughs> I ain't nobody's grandmother I'm not but um I will post some pics and I mean nothing wrong with being a grandmother but it's I just haven't gotten there yet okay and I, I don't want to I'm not trying to rush it but um if I do find a cute style that I like, I'm going to come back. I'll post a pic so you guys can see it. But let me know what you think in the comments, you guys. Um, yeah. It, it is just, it's a cute wig. It's just not, it's not cute for me. I just don't. Unless I just don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> but like I said, <laughs> if I mess with it. And, um, and uh, to find some a cute style, I will take some pics. So still pics and post them in here at the end of the video for you, okay? Alright, I'm done with this wig review. Um, hit me up in the comments. I'll leave the link below of where I purchased it. I've been getting my wigs lately from wigtypes.com. So I'll leave the link to it below if you want to check it out. Try her out. You're looking for a short, cute style. It is cute, like I said. So don't let my, <laughs> how it looks on me, deter you from purchasing this wig. It is a nice wig. All right. Thanks so much for watching. You know what to do. Hit that button. Subscribe. See you next week. Bye.